so this is how i do my makeup now i've come a long way since how i used to do it it was in fact one of those girls in school who used to wear orange foundation without realizing it was orange i feel like pretty much everyone did though first i start off with this simple moisturizer it's got spf 15 and i don't know if 15 even does anything but this is the only moisturizer i can use without it making my skin really dry i don't actually wear foundation anymore number one because i've never been able to find my skin tone correctly in any cheap enough foundations that i can afford and number two it really just doesn't make me look good my skin it literally my skin crusts off when i have it on i have fin finally started to accept my skin anyway right then i let that dry oh damn it i know this is probably so bad but i use the same brush for my eyebrows as well as like my eyeshadow so i forgot to wash it off before so i'm just gonna put it on a bit of a baby wipe for so long i had so much struggle trying to find eyeshadow or eyebrow powder that actually matched me and had the right undertones and i've had this as you can tell for quite a while i got it from wilkinson's i think it's essence it's like one of the cheap brands it's called no cream no sugar they don't sell it anymore so i don't really know what to do when it runs out it's all right it's not the best it lasts about a day which really is all that you need it for so i just put a little bit in i used to have really thick eyebrows my natural eyebrows are really thick but because i have quite small eyes it just kind of made me look like a man but i have always really loved thin eyebrows i love the sort of almost vintage look it feels not vintage to like the early 2000s but vintage to like 1930s or whatever it was i have this what's it called a spoolie at the end of this which is another purchase of an eyebrow shade that just didn't fit so it's took me a long time to figure out how i actually like my eyebrows and i think i finally figured it out they're not naturally even so i kind of do make it as even as i can but also both sides of my face are not even so the fact that they're uneven isn't really a big deal to me next what's next eyeshadow this fancy eyeshadow was actually something my sister gave me because she just doesn't wear eyeshadow and i didn't wear it for a long time until i started recently doing i take the darkest brown and then line my lids i used to use black liner and i actually every day i used to do winged eyeliner but obviously i'm not good at makeup they never used to be be even and i also discovered black is actually too harsh for my eye and i also have a lazy eye so i can't really see for it to be even out one of my eyes which is why it was always uneven so i line the top of my eye and then the bottom i kind of leave a space i don't do it right up to my bottom lash line i like to make the illusion that my eyes are actually bigger than what they are sometimes i have to make it thicker because i do it wrong on the other eye because this is my lazy eye so i'm waiting for the eyeball to eventually sort of stray away i hope it never does but if it does then I just have to put up with it i've never liked my face i never liked how it looked and it has been a long process to try and just accept it i had a long list of procedures that i wanted to get done when i was growing up and i was like so sure that i was going to get the money and save it up for me to get it done but i thankfully don't want to anymore i think i'm pretty much done then i fucking hope it's still recording <laughs> can't see it i'm using the back camera because it is slightly better than the front camera on my phone then use these eyelash curlers i've had these eyelash curlers since i was like 14 one of my friends bought it for me and i just have never bought a new one Ugh. god knows what's on that side i saw a hack at if you heat up the curlers with a hairdryer it's meant to like curl your eyes better and i did go through a little bit of a stage of doing that but then basically just got lazy i then have this mascara and i've had this mascara again for years not very hygienic i bought it on the market i think it's not great my makeup collection used to be so big i used to just keep buying them and it's kind of satisfying now that i know exactly what i like oh shit i always forget to curl my eyelashes anyway i love wearing eyelashes but this is like my everyday makeup and i don't put eyelashes on every day right remember at one point everyone put so much on their face when you used to walk down the street where i live anyway it was just like glowing from everyone's face i mean i used to be the same i do actually kind of need a bit of a glow because my skin is so dry so i don't i don't have literally any oils on my face oh my god i put too much on my nose done that's my makeup routine very short very simple but i finally figured out what actually looks the best on my face if anyone watched this instead of me thanks for watching goodbye